because uh, clearly Washington kind of likes embargoing all of a sudden. Okay. This is a bit scary. What's their next move going to be? <coughs> Who are you going to bombard? I seem to be shivering, which is weird because I don't really feel cold. Oh, you built the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> In, I would presume, Brussels Sprout. Um... I don't quite see it. But how convenient! They... gave me a free Eiffel Tower. Because obviously I am going to fully annex them. <laughs> Can I seize the city? No, no, not on this turn. On uh, next turn, almost certainly. For now... Let's move forward. Wow, we really bounced back from that deficit of money and happiness. But here's the thing. Um, most Civ players are afraid of acquiring new cities uh, because of the unhappiness, but... So long as you invest in improving so long as you invest in all the proper happiness buildings in those cities as well as get a a few social policies to boost happiness per city <laughs> you actually stand to gain more happiness in the long run from each city you grab just takes a little bit of investment. So, um... So yeah, and I think probably some of our puppets have been building happiness buildings. Yekaterinburg is only two turns away from a coliseum. Very nice. How does the demographics look? Well, unfortunately, we're not the lead in anything. In fact, we're pretty far from the lead in a lot of things. But at least we're not in last for anything. We are absolutely kicking Belgium's ass here. Okay. Turin? Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with you. I mean... One thing I, I, I kind of like to do with Turin is, uh... Make sure I always remember which unit he is. And so I, I was going to rename him, but first I'd need to get him some more experience so he could reach his next, uh, his next promotion. Okay, Ufa, what's your next move gonna be? Everyone's denouncing everyone. Who adopted an ideology?
Okay, okay. Let's see what they do. Okay, that's actually a pretty good choice for target because they could wipe it out, uh, yeah, by focusing fire. Now, the AI doesn't always, uh, focus fire very, um, efficiently. But, uh, this time, this time they, uh, they did do it fairly efficiently. Accuracy. Unfortunately, uh, they're not going to be able to do that again because... And let's just move you out of the way. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, my computer's telling me it's the... About time to end this session. But first, I want to take Ufa. Ooh, yeah, that's brutal. But the city is now mine. Okay, so now we're back into the uh the negative happiness. But we're slowly grabbing ourselves a foothold in Belgium. Simply put, they cannot fight back. So now we're at three down, ten to go. And Belgrade... Belgrade, you should actually build a zoo. Now, instead of soldiers, because we've got ton of sol tons of soldiers, but, um, Uh, yeah, shock one. Wow, well, really? Oh, whatever. Yeah, we've got tons of soldiers, but are a bit short on happiness, so... Just a minute, before we end the session... Austria! Austria founded a, uh... An ideology. Ah, that's painful. Not only did she, uh... Did she get an opposing ideology? But she's working towards getting a tourism building. That is going to be painful. In terms of, um... Where is it? Yeah, this. This is, this is gonna be nasty. We really need to get this, uh... This quick kill on the Soviet Union. Take away... 
all of their tourism, because they're at 86, 80 fucking 6. Last I checked it was 40 something, but whatever, whatever. I've been playing long enough, and I'd really like to get to bed. So, without further ado... Ah, oh. uh, poor Russia. They never had a chance. Poor Tsarist Russia. Without further ado, if I, I can keep myself from being distracted anymore, it's time to sign off. I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!